Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah, assalamu alaikum. Uh, on behalf of the Muntada al Ta'if al Islam, the Islam Forum, it's our pleasure to invite you to one of our lectures uh, entitled Islamic Economics and the Global Economic Challenges. Uh, one of the reasons we chose this topic was due to its importance uh, to this critical topic today, especially in light of the recent failure, the recent economic crisis brought about by capitalism and some of the changes being brought about by the Arab Spring. We see many people, whether it's on the, whether it's on the level of the, on the grassroots level or whether it's within academia, they're asking for an alternative. And our alternative is the Islamic alternative. What is the Islamic alternative? We have with us today, inshallah, Dr. Zahir Nsuri, who will discuss this in detail, inshallah ta'ala. Uh, Dr. Zahir the CV, mashallah, is very extensive, whether it's in relation to his Dawah efforts, whether it's in relation to uh, your experience, academia, and so forth. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to, uh, I'm not going to do justice whatsoever to the, to uh, introducing him. Otherwise, we would be here for an hour. So, currently, Dr. Zahir Sudi is the Chief of Sharia Administration at the Abu Dhabi Islamic Bank in Cairo, Egypt. Some of his previous uh, positions include uh, Chief of Sharia Audits, Sharia Consultancy, uh, whether it's at the Lebanese Islamic Bank, or the Banking and Financial Institute in Beirut, Lebanon. Uh, in regards to some of his experience in the Dawah, he was the Imam at the Abu Bakr Mosque in downtown and the Imam at the Ayn al Maraisi Mosque in Beirut. Uh, in 2011, he finished his master's uh, at the Sharia College in Beirut University. Uh, his master's thesis, which is very interesting, I wanted to read it to you. Uh, the thesis title was The Role of Islam Economics in the Economical Cycles and Mechanisms of Alleviating Poverty. Uh, he also has a postgraduate diploma uh, in the Sciences and the Interpretation of the Holy Quran from the Dawa College in from the Dawa College uh, Dawa College University in Beirut. He also has a degree in Sharia from the Beirut Islamic University and a degree in economics and was also a transfer student in the uh, Richmond University in London. I'll keep it at that, inshallah, there's much more. Uh, so, I'm not going to waste any more of your time, inshallah ta'ala. We have with us Dr. Zahid and Zuri. Jazakallah. Okay, in the name of God, most gracious, most merciful. Our title today is Islamic Economics in the Global Economic Changes, the Challenges, the Worldwide Challenges. What we are witnessing today is capitalism being brought at its very foundation. Okay, capital, we're asking, we're refuting capitalism. Is Islamic economics an alternative? Today, the subprime crisis, the European crisis, the meltdown crisis, the fiscal cliff, the Cyprus crisis today has been referred as we have an inherent genetic problem in capitalism. They, they said that capitalism bears the seeds of its own demise. Today, we are talking about aporia. Are you familiar with the term aporia? Aporia is puzzlement in which we find ourselves when our certainties fall into pieces. Al-Muslimat ta'iti. Al-Muslimat ta'iti waqat saqat. Okay? The certainties has fallen into pieces. We will start before introducing Islamic economics. Now, the current situation, the global economy, okay, and compare it to Islamic economics. Good? Thank you. Okay. I would like to refer to someone called Hemi Minsky. Do you know him? Hemi Minsky. Anyone in economics here? Heman Minsky. He's a Jew. Okay. In the 1970s, he referred to the economy as being unstable. In 1986, he wrote his theories about capitalism as being inherently unstable 
in his famous book, Stabilizing an Unstable Economy. I refer now to him in Minsk and coming to the development of the change. According to the World Bank, 113 crises has occurred since the 70s, out of which 29 had real effect on the real economy. Okay? We have to know first, we have a financial economy and a real economy. The financial economy, you can refer to it as being Dow Jones, the papers, commercial papers, okay? And the real economy, what, what is effectively represented in the GDP. You know the GDP? Natish Mahal, gross domestic production. Okay? We have 113 crises worldwide from 1970 to 2008. You have to know what I'm trying to prove is that having financial crisis is part of the capitalist capitalist economy. To the system, we refer to it in Islamic economics as being the theory of the inverted pyramid. Okay? We have a slender base of assets, Usul Qalila Jidda, a slender base of assets, in which you have a pyramid inverted being built on this slender base to have eventually this inverted pyramid because of services of debt and derivatives. Okay? Yeah, we're going to have the usul Shway shway, big one has seen that inverted pyramid of that. The we looked at it as being we have a crash is needed to restore the balance. Okay? The Malik bar Matali had a bimahali. Al Sandra base, you have to have this crash. It's a must. Accumulation of that debt growth per annum, 35%. مثلا هيك بسيطة ألبرت أينشتاين when asked what's the most massive weapon of mass destruction ever known to mankind أينشتاين قالوا له إيش الهيدروجين بوم what is it atomic bomb فكان جواب بسيط هي هي calculates هو إنسان فظيع فعلا that, I mean, this is very easy. Compound interest. Okay? That's when we had a 35%. But we start by referring to something called the subprime crisis. The subprime crisis started by giving loans to people which are not eligible to receive loans or not being creditworthy. Okay? They called it the house problem. No asset, no jobs, no income. Ninja loans. The security of the securitization. I think the securitization of the security of الفكرة حوسطة تتكلم شو بالعربي خلي بتالي ريحة جو لأن عارف بتالي بادون مختلف في شيء فاينانس في شيء كلامس في شيء إيش مختلف فيه ال ال الفكرة تعيطة إنه عملية التسنيد أو توريث بعيد سكرتايزيش صار مطلع بتالي يغلو هاللونس اللي صار كان في عندك ال ال الهدف في الفترة الزور بعشرين وثلاثين نزل ال ال interest from تقريبا five percent to 3.5 to 1%. Why? Leash and film with me. Who can say about him with me? To a film with lady? But Leash. Leash is an interest. Interest on loans? More people will take interest. Meaning, 
ليه تربطها بهاي؟ ليه بدك تربطها بهاي؟ في مور بيبل تيك لونز تيك لونز يا مور ماي لا طبيعي ايفنشولي بدنا نعمل تي باك وحيصير لا 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 مش لا eventually the government needs to finance the expenditures of the war. Today, keep today in Dublin. Keep today. Did you understand? So you do this. So you don't have to do it. That's the material you need to understand. You don't have to do it. But you don't have to do it. Okay? But that's the material you need to understand. You don't have to do it. You don't have to do it. You don't have to do it. And as I'm telling from 5 to 1%, what happened in the market is people started to take loans for homes. Okay? Believing that someday they can pay it, pay off. If you have an answer, it's not going to be a good thing. 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 It's not بسطة فكرة بعيدة نحكيها في لبنان مزورة وعندي جاي من القاهرة ف يعني بتحط كيف الصحارة بعيدة المناظورة وكذا كويس فكان يحطوا مثلا صحارة تفاح او مهود الرطبة فيحط لك البضاعة مضروبة تحت اوكي والبضاعة منيحة فوق اوكي ويبيع بعملية سكرتايزيشن تو ذا بيبل People eventually bought it. One of them is Goldman Sachs. Today he's being sued. Now, because he batted against the battle of securitization, he sold it to the people. Lloyd Blank Fund. He sold it to the people and he bet that it will eventually default. Okay? And who got who raka who raka who actually fear? Well, I eventually it will default. فكان في عندك سي دي اس سكريتايزيشن بعوض الناس وصار في عندك هيك حاجه ثانيه صار في عندك شيء اسمه شادو بانكينج سيستم الشادو بانكينج سيستم از ديفرنت من ذا كونفنشنال بانكس في نظرنا شادو بانكينج سيستم ار لايك هاتش فوندز اوكي ذيز ار نوت ريجيوليتد باي ذا سنترال بانك فذي دو نوت تيك ديبوزيتس They take whatever you have, you give them money, and they turn it around and make profits. How do you think about this? Why do you think about this? Why? Because you see that you have something called derivatives. Derivatives are the same. Right? Okay? The same thing is the second Great regarded regarding to the law, related to the law. Yeah, for example, like now I have the option to sell this loan at a certain price or to keep it to retain it. Like if I have the option, I pay premium. Okay, I pay premium. Then I have the other thing. Then I have some credit default swaps, CDS. هاي السيديرز الفكرة تاعيتها بقول لك أنا إف آ إف هي ديفولتد أوكي أي ميك بروفيت يور جيفين ذا ماني إف هي ديزال إف هي إف هي دازنت ديفولت إيفنشولي أي ريتين ذيس سيديرز أند أي لوز ذا بريميوم ذات أي بيج أوكي بس فيها مشكلة بسيطة من غير السيديرز You don't have to own the asset in the first place. Okay? You don't have to own the asset in the first place. يعني مي ما كان في يشتري هالسيدرز ويا انه if فلان he defaulted he'll make profits. Okay? Eventually it boils down to be a pure game of lottery. You gambling. Why? You gamble. But George Soros referred to it as being the hydrogen bomb. 
Warren Buffett referred to it as financial weapon of mass destruction, derivatives. And what's the two thirds of this? In 2008, the number of derivatives in the financial market in USA was $600 trillion. Yeah, and 10 times more than the size of the global economy. $600 trillion. 10 times GDP worldwide. CDS was $60 trillion. Okay? This was engineered by the whiz kids in New York, referring to it as being a financial innovation or financial engineering. I'll refer to something called leveraging. You know, giving up leveraging. Leverage is eventually when the financial institution takes more money to invest. But it's a fancy word for having a loan. Okay? Okay. What, what happened is that Lehman Brothers' weight of leverage was 32 to 1. Actually, not 32 to 1. هلا يمكن شوي مصطلحات صعبة عليكم راح تشوفوا الوجوه في بياناتكم فاهمان في بياناتكم مش فاهمان في اخر بالتالي باي جراوند فاينانس في لا في كذا يو هاف تو نو يعني هيدا حركة العالم هيدا غير العالم ويغلق سيء لا اخمص قدمي يعني مش بس هيك بتعرف انت هي الفوركس اللي بتشتريها يعني مش بدك تموت على الفوركس وعشر مرات مش هيك بيعمل لك داي هاي داي انس ليفرج هاي داي انس You're building up. Yeah, you're building like a farm, a dollar, which to be like an above. Why the leverage? I'm going to tell you, a dollar. Show us the rate here, and I'll be here. I'll be at it, and tell the car from home. Great car. What do you notice? She knows if she has a bit of margin call. When we show from the tell, I'm not going to tell you, I'm not going to tell you. Okay, system, the system, the system. And no one is stopping it. And no one is referring to it that this is wrong. Okay. 2008. 2008. The subprime crisis. They refer to it as having the bubble of the real estate, the house bubble. Okay. But the investors in hedge funds, especially, started started returning. Taking out their investments to somewhere else, they took it to uh, some of the thing which is usually which is safer. In fact, it has being soft commodities. Assalamu alaikum. Name. How should we know? The rice, the sugar, the milk, the cocoa, the whole thing. There's a lot of speculation on it. Should we start to tell you the truth? And then somehow speculators start to feel the heat in the real estate market. Asset bubble, searching for safer investment commodities. Food prices increased 40% at the summer, increased 50% at home training, making it very expensive to the poor and developing countries. Okay, the the economy in itself is wrong. Something is intrinsically wrong with the economy. Should for speculation, job. I refer in the States, someone called Henry Parsons, referred to in the media as being called King Henry, had a kind of head of treasury, secretary of Wazir al Khazim, from America. The Mishkri can be the head of Goldman Sachs. Now, after a bill of bill, 700 billion, I told him to tell you that banks which defaulted. ما كان وزير الخزينة كان هو الرئيس تاع جولدن ساكس. ما كيف كيف راجل يعني في كونفليكت اوف انترست. طيب هيدا قلت لي انسان فظيع الان جرين سبان يلي نزل قلت لي انترست ريت 1% and he was an advocate of deregulation. We have something called being referred to as being deregulated. يعني مثلا جرب القوانين للسي في للسي باسي Uh, the market is capable of fixing itself. Mahadir Hakaya Kawanin, 
خلص هو الماركت لحاله لما صارت الكراش قال لك لا اي اي بليف اي واز رونج هي واز مارك از مين فاكتور هو تريجر ذا كراسس هي بريز ذا رايز اوف سبلاي اند بليف ذا ماركت ويل كاست ذوز ويتش ار نوت كريدت ورثي The bailout bill in the USA was $700 billion. They gave it to the banks. Right? Okay? If I were going to think of it as being from a human angle, I would give it to the people, not to the banks. Right? Okay? They gave it to the banks, and eventually you have this cartoon. You have foreclosures. فالكونجز يعني بتلي لما تفلس انت بروح بياخد بيصلوا على بيتك اوكي؟ فشامله راحوا انقذوا مين؟ اوكي انقذوا الحوت يعني وتركوا الناس تبعه اوكي؟ ليه؟ كينج هنري هنري بارسون هي سيد ذيس واز تو بيج تو فيل يو هاف امريكان ايكونز جولدمان ساكس سيتي جروب ليمن برادرز اي اي جي اي اي جي لان عملت سي دي اس لما عملت هاي اول شركه هي اللي بتنفع بس تعيط التامين لان مش قادره تدفع التامين الوهمي اوكي طيب سوري اف ام ريفير تو ات اس بينج الجفرمنت عم تطلب تبيل اوف بانكس Buy treasury bills. It takes money. Buy treasury bills. Okay. Banks will be capable of giving loans to the people, but the government has to pay back those money given out to the banks in the first place by treasury bills. This is done only in one way: tax. Taxing the people. But eventually, what has happened is, you say the bankers, you made the people in a worse condition. This was referred to as privatizing gain, socializing pain. Okay? Certificate identity, privatizing gain. خص خص الربح وتعميم طيب حكوا بعد النور بتلي بسيطة ما حفوت يعني شو صار أحكي كلمة بتلي عن quantitative easing quantitative easing is something which is done currently in the United States and being thought of of being in the UK to be done And uh, they said, okay, they came up with another fabulous and fantastic resolution. So let's pay off the, the economy is in, in a trash. The interest rates are in zero to 25 percent. Okay, nothing can stimulate the economy. What they usually do to stimulate the economy is to decrease the interest rate. Okay? حتى الناس ياخذ قروض، روح يعمل اندستري، ديكريز انترست. هلا المشكلة اللي صار في عندك شيء اسمه كاونتر بارتي ريسك. يعني أنت البنك لا تثق بالطرف الآخر مين ما كان يكون. أوكي؟ يو هاف ذا كاونتر بارتي ريسك. They gave them the loans. The money, they're not capable, they're not willing to give the counter party. Was it corporate or retail? كان مثل الأفراد ولا الشركات؟ حل الاقتصاد بوقف محل قال لك طيب خلينا نعمل شيء ثاني خلينا نشتري بالتالي دي توكسيك اسيتس كل هدول مورجج باك سيكيورتيز خلينا ناخذهم طيب قال لك كيف؟ قال لك نطبع مصاري ما مقابل شيء نطبع مصاري اوكي ما حدا بيحكيها نشتري بالتالي بها المصاري نشتري فيهم بالتالي هدول الام بي اس طيب عمليا هاي بتؤدي الى انفليشن تضخم تؤدي الى ديفالويشن اوف ذا كرنسي 
هو هذا اللي صار خلال هالسنة عشان هيك بتلاقي كل شيء كان عم ينشر من أمريكا كل السيارات كان بلبنان تيجي من أمريكا لأن كله كان أرخص واليورو عم يفعل لأن كان في ديفالويشن أوف الكرنس وكان فكرة عند الأمريكان لبالتالي يروجوا الصناعة تبعيتهم والتصدير تبعهم طيب بس ولكن هيدي الفكرة بحد نفسها ما بتزبط محل ثاني This value will tell you ID cannot, it's not suitable in other countries. Why? It's in the hand of the hand of the hand. Okay, what's the problem? You can't just print money in another countries. Okay, what's the problem? You have to have the hand of the hand of the hand. You have to have the hand of 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 the hof the hand of 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 the hand of